Y'all already know how I go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment. I look weird in this camera. I but I, I got a port message for y'all, bro. I went and did this pop-up. Me and my probation. Shout out to my probation officer. Because that. She kept it real. I went to my probation officer, right? I parked the block away, right? <laughs> Thinking like she would lock me up. But she kept it honest with me. Like, hey, you're going to have a summons to court about a YouTube video. I thought it was some stuff from 2009 or something that she was just saying a YouTube video, all this stuff running through my head. And then the meeting didn't go so well, right? But it did. She said, you won't go to jail. And I didn't. Multiple times she explained certain situations to me. And I can respect her being honest. She law enforcement. I'm never going to tell you. If you ever see this, I'm never going to tell you the whole truth. I can't. I can't. Baby, I've been a criminal all my life. And even though I'm, you know, on a righteous path now, I can't be 100% honest with you ever. But I do respect for you being real. I don't like this angle at all. Let me look weird. But she kept it 100. Kept it 100 with me. Things didn't go well. She sent me a text message that I didn't like. And then after the text message, I'm not going to explain it right now. I'll explain it later on because I got an upcoming court date. So I can't get into detail about this. So I went to an event called Throwing a Stone a Guy. When you throw a stone a guy, he's going to send it right back. Or she or whatever the entity is. I went there. I'm intoxicated off fornicating with females, liquor, money. Getting money, but don't take care of none of my responsibilities. Just blowing it, right? I mean, outside of my daughter. I don't. Oh, it'll come back. I'm falling into the same habits of when I... We ain't gonna get into that either. Because I had an upcoming court day and people looking at my YouTube now. But we get into that later on. I ain't taking care of none of my responsibilities. Why ain't got my probation paid off? I got that money. Why am I only paying a bare minimum? I, I, just thinking. So, my, anyway... I see this large bird in the middle of the hood while I'm sitting there thinking, pondering. My friend hit me up. She's like, go to th throw a stone at God. They give you this ginger, this um, ginseng. It's this green mix. And if you ever go to it, get it with sugar. If you hood like me and you don't like all them fruity drinks, them detoxing drinks, it flushed everything out of me. And immediately I got bumps on my body trying to this, you know, um, trying to get rid of the toxins that's in my body. And it gave me a clear mind for the first time in a long time. Like I'm a five dollar waters and ginseng drinks that I'm dividing up, drinking four times a day or whatever. I'm like, what? Completely sober for the first time in a long time. I ain't been in one of them a few days. I'm like, man, I'm stressed out. So I had I had some time to think, just sitting on the road. My uncle called me. He told me some disturbing news, not of new, but of old, because I uploaded videos and it brought out some traumas in people. And what's crazy when I uploaded these videos, other people hit me up, said, "Hey, well." Dude wasn't in prison during that time. He did this, 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 and that. I'm the type of person that care about everybody. So they start telling me they trauma. And they say, hey, look, I want to come on. So since you're giving this person, that person, the platform to be a warrior, or I went to prison, I was a thug, let me tell you who he really was. And, and, and that really wouldn't do them no justice because everybody been through something to make them some type of way. So I'm finding the median in between that. But today was a real eye-opener for me. And I'm about to drop some real stuff that y'all might be mad at me about. It's crazy how fucking... Jensine, tea, vinegar, paprika, cinnamon got me feeling, bro. The more size tip of America, I'm done with it. I'm still big five. I still live by love, true peace, freedom, and justice. I still love some teachings. That was a walk of life I've been through. I still got my eel on my name. Eel or Bay, Ray, Day, Ali. That don't got nothing to do with being a more scientific of America. 
whether you got it on your name or not. Now, being a member of them, that's something different. Don't associate with you with them guys no more. Because at the end of the day, my friend Coco hooked me up with a correctional officer. I meet her. She said, oh, you've been a bar deal? Are you, you know, and, and she got to ask some questions. And she got comfortable. And she asked me, beautiful woman, model material. She asked me, do y'all do this? Do y'all do that? Man, I'm tired of justifying all this weird stuff. Even the story from the, I'm, I'm tired of justifying this weird stuff, dog. Y'all boys want to sit up and run with former child molesters, rapists, pedophiles. That's on y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with it no more. I still got my L on my name. I still got my big five. I'm converting to Orthodox Muslim. Orthodox. I ain't got nothing to do with that no more. Don't. None of that. I still love all my brothers that I love. Rimmer Bay. I hope Porter Hill don't be mad at me. He might talk to me about it. I know it's different branches, different sects we can go to. I'm done justifying sodomy. And like I told y'all many, many times before, it's nothing wrong with you being homosexual. That's cool. You can be my best friend being homosexual. I don't care what you do sexually. I don't care what you identify is. But the moment I start got it breaking down why you took somebody manhood, why they do this, why they do that, I don't want to be... A... And I'm tired of talking about what we was or what we could be. Like the Pyru homie said, we got to address the dope fiends that we just was. We got to address the 80s crack era epidemic. We got to address the 60s. You feel me? We got to go all the way back to them, the H epidemic. Like, I'm straight, bro, and I'm distraught from it, bro. I never thought that I'd be drunk or fucking ginseng, ginger, paprika, cinnamon, spice, our herb, man. Did the sage, did the yoga, did the super hot sauna to where you almost faint and they hydrate you. Then you throw up all the stuff, all the toxins you had in your body. Homie, I'm good. I don't want to be associated with that no more, man. I'm tired of justifying it. Tired of pulling up on the block like, oh, yeah, that's the year. Well, he been to prison. Damn, he was a gangbanger, but he joined them. He might be on some weird stuff. I caught cases over this. Remember I told you the little pedophile dude said, oh, you got a fez on it. Ain't a good look, homie. You you with the woo-woo-woo. Oh, that definitely ain't a good look. Well, homie, you a pedophile. Then caught a case over that. Look it up. I'm done justifying it. I'm done exploiting people, all types of stuff. I'm, I'm done with that stuff, man. I'm When I do this true crime stuff, best believe everybody to come on, bef like, before they drop the video, they will know. This who looking at it. This what might be said. This what you might make off of it. This where it could go. So on and so forth. I want you to have a full understanding of it, bro, like. I'm, I'm messed up out, bro. Like, you might tell my eye, uh, you know, it was red. I had to cry for a minute. Like, bro. It comes to a point in your life where you do. It's messed up where you feel like, damn. When I go to the hood and I say, I'm this. I just that I'm not gay or, or, or rapist. And if I was gay, people would set me and love me. But the point you got to justif justify it, I ain't press up on no white boys for boot. Bro, that shit frustrating, bro. I'm distraught by it, bro. Might not get no videos over this weekend. I might go through an extensive therapy session, bro, because it, 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 it's really messed up and it really hurt me, man. It really hurt me. Yes, I am still spiritual. Yes, I still rock with my brothers that rock with me. Yes, I still got the nationality on my name. Yes, I'm going to teach my brothers that you don't have to be a part of that to have a bare ear on your name, bro. Don't associate with me with that no more, man. I'm uh, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'd rather go look. I'd rather go join the Nation of Islam and look like I'm racist. No. And no, nowhere in modern society today can you justify sodomy, bro. You can't, you can't justify it. It's messed up when a white girl that never been to prison, never been to the hood, said I got this attribute on my name, and she called me and said, hey, um, you know, what, what about this? 
What? And y'all don't speak up against it? It's on me just to get people on to say this ain't what it is? There ain't no benefits to being a part of it. I'm about to go detox, cleanse again, come sober minded, man. More sober, excuse me, more sober. Everybody reached their breaking point, bro. I hope y'all can like rock with me still after this, bro. But I ain't still love my brother, still love what they stand for. Maybe this is a testament from God to test my faith. I don't know, but I feel today. I'm just Muslim. Muslim. Believe in God a lot, believe in humanity. I believe in one is all. I'm done. Don't give me no more titles no more, man. I'm still Big Five. I'm still descendants of Moroccans. I ain't a part of that. I ain't moving with these clowns, these old dudes that ain't got shit to offer. None of you boys. They we'll get we're getting all that later, man. It hurt me to death, bro. You feel me? It hurt me to death. It hurt me to death, bro. But I ain't, I ain't rocking with it, bro. I'm straight on that. Sh I'm not defending everywhere I go that I'm a rapist. You put that on me for. You don't even know me. You just hear the ill bay on my name, and some dude told you he been in prison or heard about this. Like, I'm straight, man. I'm straight. Peace and blessings be upon y'all, man. I'm still big five. Love, true peace, freedom, and justice. We should all live by, man. Free Jeff Forty, year, man. 14 to the G's, man. Uh, 212 to the Bloods. I see a lot to my comrades. Assalamu alaikum to my Nation Islam brothers. I'm straight, bro. Anybody who want to join me on the Thorn of Stone of God, detoxing, getting your shit together. Hit me up, bro, because it's just a pop-up every now and then, bro. I'm telling you, bro, this is the most beautiful thing I did today. Hours and hours to think to myself. I don't want to be associated with that no more. Peace and blessings.